The Adventures of Robin Hood, Chapter 3 A Trap to Catch Robin. I'll capture that outlaw Robin Hood one day, wrote the Sheriff of Nottingham. The sheriff, wa- the sheriff was related to the man whom Robin had killed in Sherwood Forest. But there was another reason the sheriff wanted to catch Robin. The king was offering a generous reward, 200 pounds, but no one wanted to help the sheriff find Robin, not even when he offered a reward too. People were afraid of the bold bold outlaw, and many even laughed at the sheriff. He'd never be able to capture Robin. This made the sheriff, sheriff very angry. Robin Hood thinks he can get away with breaking the king's law, said the sheriff to his servant. Well, the king will hear about this. Get everything ready for a trip to London. We're going to see King Henry. For two days, the sheriff's servants prepared for the trip. The sheriff's men polished their armor, eager to impress the king. At last, everyone set off to London, and what a sight the sheriff and his men made. People stopped to watch them riding on their fine horses. The men wore shining armor and fancy clothes. Clothing. After two days, the sheriff and his men finally reached London, where King Henry lived with Queen Eleanor. The sheriff and his men were led to the king. To the king, they bowed in front of him. "Your Majesty," said the sheriff. "What can I do for you, Sheriff?" asked King Henry. "Is there something I? Is there something that you want?" As you know, that rascal Robin Hood lives near Nottingham. The sheriff began. He's kills your dear and robs your loyal men. I've tried to arrest him, but I haven't been able to lay a hand on him. I've come to beg your majesty for help. You want my help? The king's eyes were wide in amazement. You come here with all these odd men, and you can't catch one thief? Well, your majesty, Robin is very clever. The sheriff went on. He's unlike other outlaws, other outlaws who get out of my sight. Wrote the king, go back to Nottingham and come up with a plan. If you can't capture Robin Hood on your own, maybe you shouldn't be sheriff. Yes, your majesty. I'll think of a plan. Your ma- Yes, your majesty. I'll think of a plan, your majesty. The sheriff backed away from the king, making one low bow after another. He groaned quietly to himself. I have no idea what to do, he thought. The group rode slowly back to Nottingham. The sheriff hung his head during the trip. At last, the sheriff's face lit up. Aha! he cried. I've got an idea. Ride quickly, he ordered his men. We have a lot of work to do. I know how to lure Robin Hood out of the forest and into a trap. A few days later, the sheriff sent messengers to deliver news across the kingdom. The, The sheriff was holding a big archery contest in Nottingham. First prize was a gold arrow. The sheriff smiled slightly, delight, delighted with his clever idea. Robin Hood won't be ab- able to resist an archery contest. I'll surely, surely be able to arrest him now. And indeed, Robin Hood could not resist the contest. As soon as he heard the news, he gathered his band of men. Come, my merry men. Let's enter the shooting contest. There's a fine prize of a gold arrow, and it would annoy the sheriff if one of us won. Hooray! shouted the men. Let's do it! Wait, my good master, 
called out David of Doomcaster. I've just come from the Blue Ball Inn. I heard something very interesting from some men. They, are, they say the sheriff wants to enter the the, the sheriff wants you to enter the contest so you so he can capture you. I believe it's a trap, Robin. You must stay here in Sherwood Forest. Well, you'll be fine. Mm, well, you'll maybe be safe. you'll be safe. Well, maybe we won't go. Robin was quiet for a moment. Oh, but I don't want the sheriff to think I'm afraid of him. David, David was worried. I told you it's a trap, he said. The inn's owner heard it straight from one of the sheriff's men. I beg you not to go. Thank you for the warning, David, said Robin. But this news actually makes the contest seem even interesting. His eyes twinkled with fun. Be sure to have a good time, isn't that so man? So man, his men cheered. They were all looking forward to the shooting contests.